And actually, that goes along, though, with the poems that I'm reading tonight, because they're a little more personal than the stuff that I read usually, um, especially the first one. This is called Preservation. I was running, leaping like a cat to scrape the flaky ceiling in the hall. Now dad is hissing that I'm just a brat. I'm in quicksand sinking against the wall. His hand shoots from the sky, smacking my cheek like frozen snow. He roars a raging bear. I want to scream, but I can't even speak. Dad's eyes are bulging, and his matted hair is sticking up like horns. Then his face blurs, a video that has been overplayed. I feel another blow, but distantly. This creature feature has begun to fade. Something within that can't be broken stirs and soars away from him, preserving me. Thank you. This next one is personal too, but it's not personal to me. Um, my wife, believe it or not, I'm married. <laughs> That's a charade I've been playing this whole time. Um, but my wife told me the saddest story, um, which just in brief is that one of her friends who's basically my age is dying of cancer and is in the last stages. I mean, she's gonna go any day now. And she was telling, about, telling me about visiting her husband. And so I wrote a poem from the point of view of her husband and being in the hospital with her. It's called Girl Becoming Ghost. I'll have a different life from what we've planned, for she has cancer. No one could answer when I asked why, just how. See? Understand? No. But still I forced my head to nod tried not to scowl, throw in the towel. I'd be right there, her stupid, loving clod, watching her hair fall out, her skin grow thin, hear her cries, faint, feel health, my taint. I cannot hurt for her, I'm merely kin, not the one flesh the wedding vows decreed. Just one more lie, mad cells deny, leaving me helpless in her hour of need. A transplant, please? I'd gladly, gi I'd gladly give my heart to keep her warm. Somehow transform. Just cut me open. Strap me to a cart and rush me to my girl becoming ghost. It hasn't ended. Doctor, she's winded. This isn't normal, I know. She needs the most care, doc, so come now. Sweetie, your hand's cold. Baby, are you? Carrie, pull through. She's gone, it's true. And we talked, talked of growing old. Thank you. <laughs>